What attracted you to the job? As an engineer, um, after 20, most, almost 20 years at the Société de Transport de Montréal, it's a nice professional challenge for me. What's your first priority coming into your new job? Honestly, it will be, I will listen to people because I need to know, I need to hear them, I, I need to understand, and after we'll have our plan together. What do you make of the problems that the city is having right now with its new LRT system? After day two, it's hard to say because I don't want to uh, commit myself and, uh, you know, I will take time to see. But uh, for sure, the, the, the main goal is uh, to restore the service. We have to uh, wor work on the reliability of the, of the system and to make sure that the system will be safe. After that, we'll uh, be able to, uh, to give the service. Do you have any initial thoughts about how to restore public confidence? I, I have confidence uh, on the system, but you know, it's a new system. With a technical problem, we'll uh, find a technical solution. Now, LC Transport, of course, is mostly a bus operation. Um, what's the key to delivering a good municipal bus service? Uh, preventive maintenance and uh, mobilize people. OC Transpol's maintenance is in-house. The LRT system is maintained by a contractor. Does that present challenges in your mind? We have to try and see uh, and learn about that. So as I said before, I will listen to people, I will see, uh, I will analyze, and I will uh, consider all of uh, other things that we don't think uh, actually. And after that, it will be able to, I will be able to, uh, to have an opinion about that. During the pandemic, ridership all over Canada has shrunk. I'm sure you're tasked with the job of trying to get ridership back. How do you go about doing that? So for sure, we have to reinstore the service. We have to uh, increase the, the, the quality of the buses, the quality of the metro, of the LRT, and to, to convince people to come back first and to, uh, to attract new people too. So I think uh, it will be a big challenge, but uh, with a good marketing and a lot of money, <laughs> for sure we'll, we'll be uh, able to do so. Are you a public transit user yourself? Absolutely. And um, will you be using OC Transport in Ottawa on a regular basis? I, I will use uh, the public transport here for sure. Is it daunting to take over, to, to jump into the public facing role where you become essentially the face of the transit system? I'm proud of that. So. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a lot of experience introducing e-bus, electronic buses. Do you see that to be a major project for the city of Ottawa? Yeah, and it will be so amazing for the clients because they are, they are very comfortable. And it's, it's I think, with, with this uh, uh, transformation, because it's not only a, a project, it's a transformation, uh, will attract more clients for sure. How are you going to go about meeting your employees? This, this morning, I went to, the, uh, to our um, um, control center. Mm. Just say hi, you know. And this weekend, I will visit uh, most of my garage. Because I want to be there, I want to feel, I want to be close of them, and I want to tell them thank you very much for being there. What should people of Ottawa know about you that maybe they don't know already? I like people, and I, uh, I will work uh, very hard to reinstall the service because uh, I do concern what happened actually, and uh, I feel that uh, if I can bring you know fresh air for the for the customers, it will be very very nice. Well, thank you for taking the time for meeting us. We really appreciate that. It's my pleasure.